Well, we couldn't find Pepper, so they talked me into doing the reportal for today. My name is Luther Pendragon, and here's what's happening in the portal today. Clarata, a beautiful woman with auburn hair, appeared before Ragnar with her dragon called Seashar. Ragnar was astonished. Clarata had told Ragnar she and Seashar were familiars, bonded before birth. Familiars bound, found each other by electromagnetic waves. Seashar's egg was born in a volcano. By this time, Gandalf had arrived and using his magic, Selmar, Ragnar's brother, materialized before them. Ragnar, surprised to see his long lost brother, his eyes widened in his disbelief and joy. The group gathered around the portal in, a, in amazement. And for now, today is saying, a mind that is stretched by a new experience can never go back to its old dimensions. In the realm of Griffin, where magic flowed as freely as the wind, an unusual encounter was about to unfold. Ragnar, a brave warrior, stood patiently by the dragon portal waiting for Gandalf. This portal was said to lead to a world of dragons and dragon lore. As he waited, he couldn't help but marvel at the diverse array of beings passing through the portal. On their way to the dragon world, each with their own unique reasons for going there. Just as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting hues of orange and purple across the sky, Ragnar found himself face to face with a captivating sight. A woman with flowing auburn hair, clad in robes adorned with intricate symbols, stepped out of the portal. Beside her, a magnificent dragon, its scales shimmering with an otherworldly iridescence, emerged gracefully. The woman introduced herself as Klata, and her dragon companion was named Seashar. Ragnar's curiosity was piqued as Klata began to recount their extraordinary bond. She explained that she and Seashar were familiars, intricately connected on a level beyond comprehension. Familiars were known to find each other through electromagnetic waves, guided by a cosmic force that transcended time and space. Seashar's egg had been discovered within the fiery heart of a volcano, a place where the energies of the earth and fire intertwined to create life itself. Clata's nurturing care had brought the egg to its hatching, and from that molten crucible emerged the radiant being before them. As Clata's tail unfolded, a warm breeze carried the scent of adventure. It was then that a figure clad in robes of gold and silver materialized near the portal. Gandalf the enigmatic wizard known throughout Griffin had arrived. With a wave of his staff, he harnessed the magic that flowed through him. In a burst of light and energy, Ragnar's brother, Selma, materialized before them. Selma blinked in astonishment. He was transmitted from the flower's dimension, and now stood in Griffin before the portal to all the dimensions taking in his surroundings. Ragnar's eyes widened in disbelief and joy as he rushed forward to embrace his long-lost brother. The reunion was a testament to the power of Gandalf's magic, bringing loved ones together across time and space. Gandalf smiled, his eyes twinkling with the wisdom of ages. He had orchestrated this meeting, using his mastery of magic to bridge the gap between two souls. The bond between Klata and Seashar, born from the heart of a volcano, and the bond between brothers separated by fate, now stood united in the realm of Griffin. As the sun set and the stars began to twinkle above, the group gathered around the portal. Klata, Seashar, Ragnar, Selma, and Gandalf, all brought together by the threads of destiny and the magic that coursed through their world. And as the night deepened, the portal's shimmering glow illuminated the unity that transcended realms, and reminded them of the extraordinary adventures that awaited them in the dragon dimension. Well, we think Pittman's gonna be back tomorrow, so maybe you'll see him instead of me. Have a nice night.